15 year old teen is missing her homecoming after a near fatal car surfing accident. And tonight her mom is speaking out to raise awareness about the dangers of the social media trend. Garna Mejia join us live right now with the details on this. Garna. Yeah, Mike, 15-year-old uh, Ava Broadhead is just one of many teens that have been critically injured in these types of incidents. Now, it's when uh, teens are usually seen on social media videos on top or riding on the side of cars. What the videos don't show, though, is that dangerous aspect, which is what happened to Ava. It's their homecoming week this week, and they were supposed to perform. Tonight, 15-year-old Ava Broadhead was supposed to be at her homecoming at Cypress High School. Instead, her friends are wearing pink ribbons for her, and she's in a medically induced coma. I'm sure it was, hey, we should do this. It would be fun. And not thinking, oh, wait, what if I flung off this car? All these things are going to stop in my life, because in the moment, that seems fun. Wednesday night, Ava was with her friends when everything changed. They were car surfing, where you ride on top of a car. And the cars drive around, and this is what two of her friends, there was another friend on the top of the car with her. She got flung off and has now suffered a traumatic brain injury. Candace George, Ava's mom, soon realized her daughter is just one of several teens injured or killed by trying this. This car surfing trend is actually real. This wasn't a one-off situation. This is happening. In Colorado, a teen driver was charged with vehicular homicide. In Maryland, a teenage girl died while train surfing. One parent is reportedly taking action, suing TikTok. The platform now appears to be limiting access to these videos. So it's not always cool to do those things, and it's okay to say no. It's why Candace is speaking out in hopes of preventing another tragedy like her daughter's. The most horrible thing. I don't wish it on anybody. My heart is broken in a million pieces. She's such a vibrant girl. Now, you guys, our thoughts go out to Ava's family as well. Utah does have a statute that could be used to hold those participating in car surfing accountable. Now, that statute prohibits you from driving with or riding in a part of the vehicle that is not intended for use by passengers. I also wanted to share with you that there is a GoFundMe to help Ava's family cover medical expenses. I'll send it back to you. Man, a lot of prayers hoping for her recovery there. Garna Mejia, live tonight. Garna, thank you.